Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I will show you some lab apparatus that laboratory apparatus which we use in that lab. First one, test tube. Now test tube see two type of test tube. One made up of normal glass that soda glass and another one borosilicate. Always use that borosilicate because it can withstand heat and not crack easily. So borosilicate test tube see in volume is that 20 ml. 20 ml volume which see it is a glass tube open at one end see open at one end and round at other end and to study what is its use to study or heat small quantity of reagent or chemicals to study or heat small quantity of uh, reagent or chemical now next one see test tube holder when we heat any chemicals or when we take some corrosive chemical like concentrated H2SO4 or concentrated HCl, any concentrated acid or harmful chemicals, always use test tube holder. Now see, this part is metallic and this one wooden part, so that it cannot transfer to the handle. Okay. In that way, see, during heating, we hold that test tube in that way. Okay. Now for heating purpose, see that I will show you that here I use that spirit lamp. Okay, for small lamp, we can easily use that spirit lamp instead of crimson burner. burner. So that is test tube holder to hold any test tube during heating and during adding that harmful chemicals. Next one, see that test tube stand. Now there are See that is called peg and that one hole. Dry test tube we put there and after washing we put it in that peg for drying. Okay, wet test tube we put in that peg. These are called peg and this one hole. We put that dry test tube there and here wet test tube. Okay, and see for cleaning we use, see that is brush which we use to clean that test tube. Okay, it is not normal brush, it is narrow one because this one it is used for to clean that test tube. Next one, see beaker. See, ring is there and mouth is there to transfer any chemical. Okay, or see, to keep any liquid, or we also use it for heating. Okay, that beaker to mix any chemical or to stir any chemical or to heat any that liquid reagent we use that beaker it is available in many that volume i have seen uh, that 100 ml beaker see scaling is there okay mark is given 20 ml 40 ml 60 ml 80 ml okay that one that 100 ml beaker and this one 250 ml beaker all these are made of borosilicate, so it can withstand heat. Okay, to stir, mix, or heat liquid reagent, we use beaker. Next one, see flat bottom conical flux that also available in that different uh, that volume. We I have that hundred ml that conical flux, flat bottom conical flux. Another one is there round bottom. A round bottom conical flux we use for heating purpose it initiate that uniform heating and that one to see during titration okay we use that flat bottom conical flux now during that titration see we have to rotate it in that way so that conical flux it prevent the spillage of that reagent we cannot use that beaker okay during digestion, we use that conical flux. Next one, see delivery tube to pass any gas from one test tube to another test tube. For example, see that CO2 lime water test. We need that delivery tube. It is called delivery tube to pass one gas to other container. We use generally we use it for test tube. See in that way, stopper is there. We put it in that way. 
Now CO2 is evil, we can pass that CO2 in that lime water, that is delivery key. Next one see that platinum wall for flame test. Okay, we use that platinum wall, that fine platinum where is there? Okay, it will break I think. Next one see that is wear watch which in, initiate uniform distribution of heat. During heating we use that tripod stand. Okay, we put that tripod stand, then that wear watch in that way. First tripod stand and then below that we put that spirit lamp. Okay, spirit lamp here. Then we put that tripod stand, then wear watch. It holds that uh, apparatus, that tripod stand. And where watch it initiate uniform heating. Okay, I'm showing you see. Now that it's spirit lamp. As a heating appraiser, we use it. See, first we have to open that cap. And here we use spirit as a fuel. We can light up, see that one, it is spirit light, which I use for heating apparatus. Now, we will put that tripod stand over that wire coach, then we will put, see if we want to heat any chemicals, we have to put like that. Okay, that is the heating setup. And that wire coach helps in that uniform distribution of heat. Now, when the experiment is over, see, just what we have to do. There is one cap, okay. Just we have to put that cap over it. See, it will stop in absence of air, it will stop. And here we use spirit, okay. Now, see, you can also use sanitizer in that. And presently, I'm using that normal sanitizer, that liquid one, not that gel one. It can also use as a fuel in that spirit lamp, okay. In next video, I'll show you few more apparatus.